right, man. Welcome back to yet another episode of I'm Down. It's your host, George. We got Jay in the back doing random shit. Nigga knows never to do nothing, as a matter of fact. That's my job. Um, we got a special guest. But before we introduce her, I got a little announcement to make. Jay, you sent me, you said you got through email or through IG? The little, the little post today. It was, it was through I, the little, through IG? The IG, all right, man. So I've been praying for this moment for a long ass time, bro. All right, and God answers prayers. I've been like, yo, I can't wait for our first hater. We got, uh, what is it, 2018, August 4th, 2018, we got a post removed for sexual solicitation, apparently, within the Instagram guidelines. So, bro, if you out there watching, I appreciate you, man. I got love for you because you made my day today. So, thank you. He's soliciting. <laughs> Solicit. Yeah, first of all, that, that's when you're asking, right? So, this yeah. is when you're asking. Yeah, we, I don't think I was asking for nobody for some sex, but I guess Instagram in another world. But to move forward, right, our special guest today, um, I kind of want to go into a long one, but I kind of don't. But I'm going to give him a little bit of what I know about you. Right, how many ahead. How many degrees you got? Four now? I have two degrees. Two degrees. Two bachelor well, degrees. Two bachelor degrees. So you have a double major in? I have political science and international relations. Okay, so double major in political science, international relations. I don't know what they mean, but <laughs> they sound political, so I'm going to go with nice. Um, church goer? I am a church goer. Leader? I am not a leader. You're, you're not a church leader right now. I am not a church leader right That's now. That's fine. Church goer, what else? Am I missing anything else? Uh, master's student. Ma you're getting your master's right now? Yeah, I'm getting at my this master's time. right in, now. In what? Global affairs. Globalization and security. What does that mean? What, what can you do with that? Basically, globalization, like how the world is coming together. How the world is becoming borderless, you know. Uh, how do I put it? The free flow of information, the fact that, you know, we have Facebook, Instagram now. If something happens in Kajikistan, we'll basically find out about it if it's a video posted on, you know, on Facebook or something mm -hmm. like that. So it's, it's kind of like that. And how that affects national security. So, it so what do you, yeah, I'm about to say, but what, what do you is. study, though? Like, I guess, what is like the... That, like the trend of globalization and how it's starting okay. to affect security. Gotcha, gotcha. So it has to do with Instagram, social media, and anything with else that could affect... Things, yeah. Got it. Free flow of trade, stuff like that. Okay, got you. Okay, so you basically out here popping, getting your education going. <laughs> uh, you're activist. Can, is it safe to say you're activist? I, I think so. I mean, Abby, would you say she's an activist? <laughs> you don't know. I think so. I, you, you don't. You want to say? If you say it, I'll take it. But I would not put the label. on I got myself. you, activist. So, in other words, we got an educated activist <laughs> and the church core in our building. Um, don't ask me nothing because I'm gonna say unknown. Unknown. Well, okay. Well, check it out. So this is what we're gonna do, right? All so. Right. We were talking about how we wanted to, I guess, approach this, so we do know what direction we want to go to. But let's probably bring in the viewers to get to know you a little bit before we, I guess, talk about the more, like, you know, serious shit, right? All right. So, all right. So, first thing we're going to pull up, so you could give us some context real quick, right? Because, wait, I got it right here. So, you got some context. So, what is, can you give some context to this picture real quick? Uh, by the way, we're going to blow it up right here <laughs> right, in the video. It's going to be somewhere in the video. Okay. So they know. This picture was from Dia de las Naciones in church. You know, we have like a festival of nations and there's a parade with different flags. And he's the only, you know, Chinese American citizen that we have. And mm -hmm. since, you know, I'm China in church, they told me to do it with him. So you were forced to... Not forced, but I was asked, and I said yes. Wait, so they asked you to rep a country that you have <laughs> nothing to do with, but you just so happen to look like it. You have the appearance, so could Gosh. you do us the favor? That's a little racist, don't you not think so? <laughs> That's so a little racist, I don't know. So you're not Chinese? I am not Chinese, I am so, Honduran. So okay. where are you from? I am Honduran. Just Honduran? Just Honduran. Nah, you're Chinese, bro. <laughs> yeah, man. That's a little weird, bro. I'm not going to lie. It's a little weird, bro. Okay, so this was this all had to do with, um, you said the other, yeah, so which I'm, okay, I'm very familiar with that. Okay. What did you have to do here, though? What did I have to do? Yeah. Like, I literally just walked. That's all you had to do? I just walked. Did you have to make Chinese food? Did you stand at the post for the Chinese post? <laughs> no. Huh? <laughs> rice. You had to bring nothing Chinese at all? No. So why would you walk? I wasn't, wait, I wasn't so wait, even wait, wait. supposed to do it. I was asked on the day of, like the minute before oh. he was supposed to go on. So I, I said yes. So you just said yes? I was like, okay, sure, why not? 
how you think it's going to play in a political view later on in your life? <laughs> I don't know, bro. This should look a little weird. Let depends, us know. Uh, <laughs> you side with I ain't going to lie. You that's a real tall. How tall is he? That's a tall guy. He, I think he's about six, six one. He ain't Chinese. No. Don't let these people <laughs> lie to you. What the? That's racist. Fake, no. This is fake Chinese people. So, okay. That so, a Hispanic. Let me, let me ask. Is this the first time the church does a Chinese thing? Like a Chinese thing? That meal? was the first time, yeah. And they use a fake Chinese guy for it? And a fake Chinese girl? (laughs) Okay, if you're fake and you're clearly not Chinese, why should we believe that he is? Because he literally came from China. Okay, I I believe you. I believe you. I'm going to believe you. Well, actually, it depends. What year was that in? I don't even remember. Um, I can't tell. It's, no, I can't tell. This well, is like this is put from your IG. Instagram anymore. He's got an old. Well, no, man. This is a screenshot. That's why I, I just got sent this. All right. Also, yeah, I, I got my guy doing producer work. I got my guy doing producer it was work. Taking at Jackson. That's where we do our church services. Well, before yeah, COVID, mm-hmm. I did go to Jackson. I did go to Jackson. I do know who he is. Yeah. <laughs> why you said it like so that? Like, you know, you know who Huji is. You know who that is? Who's she that? She knows who he is. He is infamous. For falling asleep. <laughs> yes, I had CSI and he, he would, would fall asleep, asleep in every CSI. Liars. They had him but that's like. And they put fake, they edited some beats on him. <laughs> it's like, it's relocated, like, it's 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 like, yeah, he didn't care. He's like, give him ten day coach. Give him ten day coach. Yeah. For not having your ID, everything. He's like the CSI. He was like the CSI yeah. teacher. Oh, uh, yeah. Every every CSI teacher has the same reputation. They don't give a fuck. Falling asleep. Yeah, they usually don't give a fuck. They usually fall asleep or they try to hit on the girls. It's usually one of the three. It's sometimes a combination. No, but but he it gets have weird. A conversation with you, and then you would just hear him snoring. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> he had ep- ep- epilepsy. That's no, what you call it. He was just sleepy, dog. <laughs> nah, that's not. That's epilepsy. not. Ch- People don't just. Ain't epilepsy when you just fall asleep? <laughs> what epilepsy? That is not epilepsy. What's that thing called when you just fall asleep <laughs> randomly? What's that thing called? Y'all know this called? <laughs> Dementia. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. That's a thing, man. Fuck y'all, man. All right. Let's get to. Let's get back into topic. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Before I move on to the next thing, real quick, right? Okay. So we get like a solid intro, real quick, because right. we're fucking around too much. About yourself. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? You have to do a little bio, because I know you have to do this before. Um, yeah, because uh, I mean, the, the audience doesn't know anything about you. I they mean, just you. think you're some Chinese girl here. <laughs> some fake mm. Chinese girl. Oh, fake, fake, Chinese fake Chinese girl. Fake Chinese. Um, honestly, you kind of covered my, I guess what I would call my high points. I, I'm a Christian. I go to church. I have a firm basis in my belief in God. I go to school. And to be honest, that, that's pretty much it. Everything else is very low key. Gotcha. Well, what do you want to do with uh, your degrees? I would like to become the High Commissioner of Human Rights for the United Nations. What does that position entail? Basically what it says, you know, it's kind of the person that is over the human rights sector of the United Nations. Gotcha. Uh, that's something that I would really like to do. And if not, then I'll probably just open a bakery. Uh, just call it uh, Wait, how, how the fuck did that go to I'm not gonna lie. I kind of fuck with that, yo. <laughs> she's like aiming high, but she's like, nah, I'm gonna fucking aim low too. Like, you know, I'm gonna fall somewhere in the middle. That's kind of good. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, it's either man, or. A bakery isn't low, right? It's a business. What yeah. what yeah. bakery you know that's really big that's not Ricky's Bakery? Vicky's Bakery. Vicky's Bakery. No, Ricky and Vicky? Ricky and Vicky. There's, there's two, two Vickys and Ricky. Oh, There's a Ricky shit. and there's a Vicky. There's a Vicky Bakery down the block. Actually, I ain't gonna lie. Don Pan's pretty uh, popping, right? That's a bakery. Don Pan's, Don Pan's pretty popping. Yeah, you know, you, you might as well go ahead and do that. I, I might as well go ahead and do would. that. I'm not that's, that a, that's a big thing. You know, she could be the first franchise baker, you know? The first franchise baker? Yeah. Isn't Don Pan already franchised? Nah, I think that's only in Florida. For real? Yeah. Oh, nah, I gotta, think that's you only you Miami, gotta get that pop. I, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, you ain't nobody buying that. Okay, ain't nobody really buying that, though. If you're not Cuban, you're not going to Don Pan. This is the bureau. Yeah, that's why it's Don Pan in Hialeah, right? No, not Hialeah. Uh, Lil Havana. on Flagler. What are you talking about? There's yeah, where's Flagler? High. Lil Havana, right? There's one by Miami High. Nah. That's that's uh, Lil Havana. Hialeah, but that's, that doesn't Of course. Hialeah and Lil Havana. <laughs> so Hialeah, where other Cubans live in Lil Havana. I got you, bro. That, that makes the most sense. All right. All right so you okay. talked about your education. Okay. Give us a little bit of context on this picture right here. On this picture right here. Are you going to blow this picture up too? Yes. <laughs> Look right here. Everything's getting blown Look, up. Yeah, everything's going to get blown up. Okay. Uh, I took this picture the day I took my graduation pictures. Mm-hmm. That, that's pretty much it. That was literally that's, it. So, so no, you're a double major, right? That's they got double I major. Wanna, I want to know about this because I didn't go to school. I'm going to drop out. Fuck school. <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, okay. No, nah, I'm Ooh. kidding. Well. Tell us about school because we, we don't have that Why experience. Why you drop out? Uh, it wasn't for me. Why? What, wasn't, what, what about it wasn't for you? It just wasn't for me. 
They what? was cool for you? That was school cool for me? Yeah. Nah, man. I, I can tell you why, though. Limit. Me, is that my mm-hmm. ability to learn in, like, in, a, in like, what school is, like, that structure, I can't. Like, it's, it's like I am, like, like pro- rigorous. Yeah, like, I'm, I'm programmed. It's almost like I'm programmed to, like, whenever you tell me you'll sit and learn now, mm-hmm. I want to do the opposite. You get okay. me? So, like, when I have to, like, go somewhere, go to a classroom and learn on your own time, I don't like that. Like, I, I like learning, like, on my own time. You get me? When I feel like learning. When I, and I guess that's a bit, like, maybe, you know, it's not the most efficient way of learning because I understand that school, it's, for them, it's the, it's the most efficient way for you to learn, right? You come here, you, you have X amount of time to complete this task, right? They write it down for you in the syllabus. You have to pass X, Y, and Z tests. You go ahead, you do it, and you get to move on to the next level, right? Like a video game. Um, I just don't like that. Like, I'm not, I'm just, like, even from, like, I, I can't even learn back sitting then. down reading a book. I can't. I won't learn. I feel like yeah, I can't it, do that. I, and I understand school has adapted to like learning styles, right? Like, like you, know, you can do online now, right? You can go in person. I'm sure they have videos and educational videos, right? So they have a, a whole bunch of ways that you could definitely learn. Um, I'm just on a different path in my life as far as school goes. You well, know what everything I mean? but, you described is why I like school. I like routine. I like, you know, that I have to stay within this. I have to yeah. learn this. I have to do this. I have to pass this test. I, I like that. I yeah. like going to class. I hate online classes. You know, maybe, the, and I'll, I'll say this, I don't mind that. Like, for example, tell me, like, yo, go to work and you're going to do the same thing every day and you're going to get paid this. I kind of prefer that route because then that allows me, that, that already, like, gives me the opportunity to dive into something else because of whatever you're going to be paying me, I know what I'm going to explore. I guess the school is, like, all I'm going to get from you is a degree that, from my personal experience, like, a degree that I would be, that I would get into, I've seen people, like, in within the industry, within the business world, accomplish those goals without having to get a degree. So for me, that kind of turns me off to the whole school thing and at the see, same time. I hate that about work. I hate going to a desk and sitting nine to five. I mm. absolutely hate that, which is why I'm mm. pursuing a career in something that you know has to do with humans. Humans are dynamic. Things change. International relations, the reason I like it so much is because your country A and your country B, I'm country C, what you, ooh, sorry, as the leader could make a completely different decision than what I think you're going to do. And now you have created a whole new dilemma. It's dynamic. And what I like about that and the reason I like the United Nations is I want to travel and I want to get to learn about different people and different cultures. And I want to do this and I want to do that. I want to solve problems. I don't want to go to a desk and sit nine to five. I, I can't do it. But why, why do you feel like you can do that with school? Though? I, honestly, I think it's the learning aspect of it. You don't the feel like you're learning how to job? I guess the fact that you tell me, I need you to read The Prince from Machiavelli, and I need you to tell me what you got from that. Or I need you to read John jack Rousseau, or I need you to read Thomas Hobbes, or whatever. I, I like the fact that you told me I have to read this, and now I have to tell you what I learned. And then you could tell me what you learned, and what you got from it. And maybe that expands my knowledge. Uh, I guess that's one way of explaining it okay very weird but nevertheless yeah because i would i would i mean i understand right if you were to say maybe you don't like school but you're willing to withstand the bullshit Mm -hmm. for you know basically you're sacrificing the now so that later you can do whatever you you want to do right but you're kind of saying is like when it comes to school you want it to be like organized detailed but when it comes to work you want it to be spontaneous and different okay that's fair enough i know it's super weird that's fair enough yeah but that's 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 your vibe huh that's an it actually, it kind of does. It really, does. but you don't want to be an schedule. entrepreneur. Well, actually, no. you kind of do though, because if you want to open up your own bakery, you kind of do. Yeah, Why not do like, both? Well, you can do both. I want to do a bakery at like retirement. Why retirement? Honestly, because I just want to spend my life doing everything I just described, mm-hmm. and then once I'm done, I just want to open a bakery and, and just vibe. have it be an adoption center at the same time. An adoption for, center for, for animals. Yeah, like uh, coffee and cats in South Miami Beach. They have coffee and cats. They have coffee and cats. I bake all the time. All the time. I got everything. Ask Abby right there. It's far. It's far. It's far. Yo, China, don't look at Abby right now. It's far. Yo, blink twice if it's a lie. (laughs) She blinked, nigga. She blinked. Whoever of your viewers has tried my baking, they could tell you my baking's fire. Word? You've tried it. What have I tried? I don't know. You've tried it. How do you? <laughs> no. Hold up. She make what? 
She wasn't. Uh, yeah. she wasn't Maybe you, might wanna, you don't want to bring that back to my head, then, but you might yeah. not want to do that to yourself. But okay, but I, I ain't gonna let that. That kind of makes sense to a degree. I mean, it, it, it's your learning style. Let, let me ask you that. What keeps you driven, though, to continue that, though? Like, most people don't even want to deal with school now. Yeah, like, they're, they're just starting, and they don't want to deal with that shit. What, what do you feel keeps you moving, like, in actually trying to continue? With school? Yeah, with school. And, I mean, just your career and everything. Like, the things that you want to Because you seem like you kind of have everything planned out the way that you want it to go. So, how do you go? Because a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people don't have that direction. A lot of people don't have, like, I want to do this, and when I retire, I want to do this. A lot of people are just like, no, nah, I'm just trying to figure it out, right? Like, I, I, I'm at that level. I'm like, well, I'm trying to figure out. Like, I know certain things I want to do, but I know that within those things, I'm going to want to do more things if I have the opportunity to. So, what, what do you feel makes you, like, just keep going and have that plan? Honestly, look, to be honest, I could have plan A through Z, and they might all fall apart. Mm -hmm. What a, The guiding force to trying to find whichever plan works out is that I feel like God puts in you certain things that you like, uh -huh. certain things that you're good at, certain things that really fill your heart with joy and with passion and whatever. For example, mine is not math. If you tell me something about math, yo, I hate math. I'm not going to do math. I cannot do math for my life. If I go to a store, we go to Kate Spade outlet all the time. They're always like some percentage off. I'm like, yo, I don't know what this is. 50% of $100, I don't know. You know, 50% of $100 is. That's a basic one, but I get what you're saying. $50. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So to <laughs> me, it's... I really want to see kindness in the world. That sounds super, like, cliche. you know, cliche and, you know, whatever. But it truly is something that drives me. I have volunteered in a million different places. And the reason that I do it is because I really do want to see kindness in the world. There is so much lack of love in so many different places. You know, that whole thing, Star uh, Local, uh, Think Global, whatever it is. I think yeah. that's... Just, Star Local, Think Global? I, I Honestly, I think that's kind of dumb. And the reason that mm -hmm. I think it's dumb is because it's like, why are you thinking globally if you're acting locally? You act locally because you're thinking locally. And then whenever you move somewhere else, you think locally there. If you go somewhere else, you think locally there. And okay. again, I know it sounds yeah. very cliche, but it is true. Yeah. How many people today are not going to sleep hungry? How many people today are, didn't even get to take a bath? And I'm not talking about uh, Uganda. I'm not talking about Colombia. I'm not talking about anything. I'm talking about Alipata right here, 41st Street, where we're at. Yeah. And how many people of those people didn't go and knock on a window at a car and be like, yo, do you have a dollar? Mm -hmm. And all you do is text away, nah, I don't see you. It's so easy to make them invisible. When's the last time you asked a homeless person what their name is? They have a name. They have a mom. They have a dad. Someone raised them to the point that they were able to grow up. Yeah. But now they're invisible. And they're invisible to society because we make them invisible. So who is going to make them visible? And that's the love of God. To God, everyone is visible. Everyone matters. And as someone that believes in God, I believe that that is something that the world needs. So... How do, how, do you, how do you think we could go about that practically? Like, like what, what advice or suggestions you will have? I mean, if someone comes to your, to your door and asks you for a dollar, yo, you don't got to keep looking at your phone until they disappear. You're doing exactly what I just said. You made them invisible until they, they walked away from your window. If they ask you for a dollar, all right, give them a dollar. And then that whole thing of like, nah, man, I don't got money, but I'll give you food. Bro, okay. If you could give them the food, get them the food. But if you could give them money, give them the money. But you don't know that. That's the that's that's what? You could give me $5 right now. We, wait, wait, wait. No, nah, that's true. But at the same time, you could have a doctor in the streets. Immigrated here from... Is it? Is it, though? You don't know that, though. Circumstances of life are so big. And I can understand what you're saying, like, I, completely. Yeah, but let's say, let's say you did, you know, you made the mistake, you got addicted to something. It's so easy to get addicted to anything. Mm -hmm. You got addicted to something, you messed around, now you're here, and all you really want is to get something for $5. And you don't have the opportunity to give him the food because you're in your car, whatever. If he asks for the dollar, just give him the dollar. The other thing that I like to do is I like to ask them their name. I like to be... Hey, what's your name? You know, because once you give someone their name, it gives them their identity back. Mm. Homelessness does this thing that it takes away people's identity. It puts them into one faction. Oh, you're homeless. Mm -hmm. 
or you're this or you're that. So you you don't think though that a lot of people are probably turned off though sometimes by homeless people because they don't necessarily like sometimes act I guess according to like what the these no, I guess I like what do you call it? like social yeah. contracts that we've established in the world right like oh, yeah of course like, like sometimes social like norms right like sometimes like you'll see like a homeless person like like they'll come to ask you from the hey like let me let, uh, you got a dollar whatever whatever right and then like uh, you know you give them a whip and then you look at them later on and they look a little like. It might look a little crazy or they might be doing some crazy shit. Like I've seen like homeless people like take dumps in the middle of the street. Yeah, right? I've seen See, homeless people like sit down in a bus butt naked, like flashing women That's sometimes. Fun. You get me? So yeah, like no, so it it I understand why people will be turned off, right? Um, initially sometimes by homeless people. But you are right though. Like when we do see homeless people, we do make them invis- invisible usually, right? We just kind of ignore them. Like, okay, they're, they're, they're not even there, right? Because we don't really like even want to ask, right? Like sometimes. Because I guess for a lot of us, it's like, man, like in the United States for you to become homeless, like you must have gone through yeah. like, like it's almost like you purposely wanted to do that, right? Because it's it sounds or it seems like it's difficult to go homeless in the United States. I'm not saying it what is. Are you, what are you thinking? Because you just I said, hmm. A, uh, when I was in high school, my mom was in Southern Virginia. Southern Virginia. Mm-hmm. Downtown. Like, like, downtown. Like, 30 And we would go every Tuesday. Downtown. Hey, homeless people. Run to you. Mm-hmm. Run to you. And food in there was running. It was really nice. One thing that you told me that you want to open up. I didn't know this. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the foster homes. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. Cold, when like mad cold. cold. They're just there in the streets, and they're just trying to hug up. Any yeah. Corner, any sk- anywhere. A lot of, I mean, Dade County puts like those benches with like spikes and all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, that you they can. Try, it's like, to try to get rid of them. But where are they going to go? They do what? They put spikes like, you know, on benches? benches? You could see it. Uh, there's pictures of it. Yeah. Dividers? Yeah, those dividers. So, like, you used to be straight. On like, you could lay on them. Oh, so, it's like, so it avoids them laying on it. They them from the end. Gotcha. Like, I didn't even know that. That's kind of smart. They do a lot of stuff like that, though. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, I, I would say this, though. Um, to, not to go too much on topic, but you said something about kindness, right? And I have written that down not long ago, right? I thought what I heard say that. But, you know, it, it's the way you make the world better is you start off by just literally, literally as simple as just being kinder to people, right? The thing is, right, and, and you, you might be able to speak on this, though. Do you feel like we are in a situation, though, where we can even be kind? Because in order for, I feel like for you to start to be kind, you need to realize or maybe not realize we need to start being grateful right yeah like you need you need to like first off like reevaluate your own life and be like well am i happy am i in a good spot in life am i where i want to be or whatever however you're going to say right whatever your point of view is because wouldn't kindness start from within yourself to begin with right Uh, i agree i mean you can't pour what you don't have exactly so how so how do you feel that we go about that then or is that just a way bigger like conversation to have i think that's a huge conversation to have but i think exactly what you said is true because it you can't really give oh i'm so bad with this mic thing Uh, don't worry about it you can't really be kind towards someone if you're not kind towards yourself and your own situation so if you are someone that's you know just constantly bashing down on yourself or you feel bad about your situation or you know whatever the case may be it would be very hard for you to go to someone else and, and extend something that you can't extend towards yourself. Does mm-hmm. that make sense? So no, I, does, I understand where you're coming from. Um, I, so yeah, because I, I mean, very true. Is, is again, because because I get what you're saying, but I just feel like people who are happy, you get me, and they're truly joyous. 
like they don't really have a problem extending. You get know I me? Mean? Yeah. Like just because it's just because you be like you, you know you, you probably notice this too. Like maybe you go to work or whatever and. The guy who's normally quiet or like reserved or whatever, he's having a great fucking day. He might be on some extra shit. I'm like, hey, Alejandro, how are you doing today? You know, do you need something? There's always those people, right? That you catch them yeah. when they're having a good day. They're just like extra joys, extra energy. So it's like, okay, cool. Like we, we get it's easy for you to be on that level. But I mean, especially now, it's not an excuse. It shouldn't be an excuse. You get me that why we're assholes or whatever. I just feel like a lot of people aren't even in a place themselves that they're happy. You know what I mean? Like, they're not in that headspace. So, there's no way that they're going to be able to reciprocate kindness throughout. You know I mean? Everybody's fucked. Especially now in the pandemic, I feel like people use it even more as a crutch or, you know, even more as an excuse. Yeah. Oh, we just been through this pandemic. You know, this is at the third. How do you expect me to be good? But at the end of the day, it's about your perspective, right? Like, your perspective in life, right? Like, how, how you view things. I think it's so ironic how such a, like, simple concept can be so complex. What do you mean? Like, kindness, you know. Uh-huh. It's such a simple concept. Like, just, you know, be kind. But it's so complex because it depends on so many different things. I think it goes back to that human dynamic thing that I was mentioning. You know, you just never know what's going on inside someone. Right. So it's it's so simple, so complex. It's so ironic. Right, right. Well, I'm asking you the real question now. The real, <laughs> the real. Uh, I mean, they're not bad, but they're just questions <laughs> that I want to know, right? <laughs> okay, so check it, right? Check it. So uh, as y'all may know, June 6th, if I'm not mis- June 6th, right? It was last Wednesday, so yeah. Okay, so June, I'm sorry, not June 6th. I keep thinking about it. That's when Black Lives Matter started, right? <laughs> Black Lives Matter started in, in June, right? Well, I went protesting the first day of May 30th. Oh, in May. Okay, so right around. Okay, yeah. so January 6th, 2021, right? Um, well, I don't have my phone, so I can't even check the exact dates for the protest. Ch- check it out. Check it out. Ch- man, we got Google over there, man. Uh, <laughs> le- yo, yeah, the yeah, laptop's right the there. Just, oh, okay. So, right, so l- let me give you all the updates real quick, right? So... So January 6, 2021, um, you want to call them citizens, you want to call them terrorists, you want to call them whatever you want to call them, they pulled up to the Capitol and they turned up. Look at her, look at her. But, but, wait, 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 look at her. She got to talk to shit. Wait, 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 wait. I'm not going to say anything. Before the terrorists or the citizens, oh, let's call it terrorists for the sake of this podcast. Hey, hey, hey. Put, Before they pulled up, right? Trump had a rally going on, right? Like mm-hmm. a rally to like talk about At, uh, uh, go el- protest. El- 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 I don't know how to pronounce yeah, it. Yeah, I don't know where in DC, right? Uh-huh. It was in DC, right? It was pretty much a bunch of Trump supporters all together, and Donald Trump pretty much telling them, "Yo, the election got raw from us. Go protest at Capitol." If Capitol you don't, Hill. if you don't fight like hell, you're not gonna have a country anymore. There we go, right? And he, I, I, I was watching today, right? Because today Hulu put up, um, ABC did a special. It's called like 24 Hour to the Capitol, right? Or some okay. shit like that. And essentially, they did like from the very beginning, um, how like, you know, during that day, people coming on planes are already kind of wild up. You know what I'm saying? You kind of sense a little bit of weirdness in, in the air. Um, during the rally, right? You know, they're talking about like, not even that long after Donald Trump kind of spoke out, people were already kind of leaving, already just marching to the Capitol, right? With their flags, the, the Trump, all that shit, right? Um, they break in. They cause damage. Your thoughts real quick. <laughs> She's like, wait, wait. Your thoughts. Yeah, 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 yeah. T, I'm actually on T right now. Um, T. Wow. That's good. Okay. I think the first thing that should be noted is that we cannot say that the that the group that did this represents all Trump supporters. Same That's way fair. that the people that you know looted, for example, when in Bayside when we did the first protest, represented everyone that went to that protest. I think that's something important to note because you don't want to generalize. Okay. Um, my thoughts are, it was an insurrection, you know? Mm-hmm. I, I called it a coup d'etat because I was like, this is a coup d'etat. It is a attempt to just be like, no, Flesh- everything mm-hmm. that you guys said is wrong. This We're just going to take our country back. You guys are lying. Obviously, like a lot of other people, I aligned with the idea that it was for lack of a better word, and let's just stick to generic words, wrong. It was very wrong. And uh, I thought that the response... I'm down, though. You can say whatever you want. <laughs> I thought that the response that was given was ridiculous, you know, because I was there in the protest. I saw, like, what the responses were, and it was nowhere near what, at least what we saw on the news. 
Right. Um, you again, and let me show the last picture, right? Because how this, many this pictures one, are you? It's the last one. It's the last one. It's the last one. Because you you brought the protest. So again, right around her. Are <laughs> get we, context are to are that. Are you showing this picture? Uh, do you want not, you want us to not show that picture? I don't care. Oh, okay, but it's in your Instagram. Yeah. I don't yeah. Care. yeah okay, okay. Uh, what what would you like me to? Well, speak on? I don't know. Give me some context. I don't know what's going on. This was the first uh, Miami protest. And the very what did the you very, say May thirtieth? Right? I think it was May thirtieth. I have to check my phone. Mm -hmm. And I went, as is obvious in this picture, mm -hmm. and I protested because I aligned myself with the ideologies behind that protest. You know that the way that African Americans were being treated is systematically wrong. It is an injustice. The system that we have is racially biased. And I went out and I protested. So why, why, why become an ally, right, to the Black Lives Matter? You're not black. You're not affiliated, right, with no. necessarily family members are black. So why um, become an ally? The same reason you. that I would for, for example, when, when gay marriages were legalized. I thought that was amazing. You know, no. which, again, I know is going to be very hard to understand with someone who just said that they have a deep relationship with God, that she's a Christian, you know, whatever. Um, but I thought that was great. And I'm not gay. So for the same reason, if there is an injustice, I'm going to align myself with where I think there is justice. And with this right here, I saw that there was an injustice and these people were going out and they were protesting for justice and I went and I did it. Where were you in that protest? Were you around the people that were No, so... Okay, so this is the <laughs> thing. I'm pretty sure at one point you were like... It got wild after we got off of the highway. So we got on the highway. Nah. <laughs> so y'all got, got on the ramp. We got, we, no, 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 no. The car was under the highway. Yeah, I was there. I know where it was at. <laughs> so we went on the I-95, and we were on the I-95 for a little while. We walked a lot, and then, of course, I was tired. I was very tired, actually. Because it was hot. <laughs> it was hot. Miami. And as you can see in the picture, my hair was loose. I was just hot. Honestly. I think she was thinking about Corona. You got I a mask, a mask on. on. Yeah. So, <laughs> I mean, hey. I didn't care because I was like, I'm not going to miss out on, yeah, on this opportunity to stand up for something that I believe in. Like, yeah, there's always the risk of you getting sick, but there's always the risk of me getting sick if I go to Starbucks. Well, what is the difference between me deciding I'm going to go to Starbucks and I'm going to go protest? I ain't going to lie. This has been my... The, every time I walk into any place and they tell me, yo, you got to put your mask on, all that bullshit, right? And I go to sit down and take my mask off, I feel like a complete idiot. Every single time. Like, it doesn't... It is never to this day hasn't, like... It's still to this day, I'm... Like, for example, you go to the mall, right? You got to wear your mask. All right, cool. You got to wear your mask. Ain't nobody in the mall social distancing at all, my nigga. We done touched shoulders like a thousand times already. You get me? But but I I, I understand what, we what you're saying. We went to Disney and like you can't even take off your mask for a picture or anything. Yeah, you can't. And it was oh, we, we didn't care when we went to Disney. We didn't give a fuck. Yeah, it was <laughs> I super. I still take packed. the picture. That I, ah, quick. Yeah, yeah, be she quick tried. with it. She tried. I've tried. Yeah, yeah, them boys on it. And people were getting kicked out. Yeah, like, yeah they on it. They were serious. You know, I, I they probably turned it up, that's why. They probably turned up. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they on it. Everybody caught in on the bathroom, in front of the bathroom. Everybody's caught in there. We came in there, it's like, y'all gotta get out. I'm like, yeah, nah, it's raining. I'm not trying to get wet. <laughs> Everybody's just like, something or something, because right now there's nobody to play. They're gonna catch me. That was a corona for the cave. It was literally a corona cave. Yeah, now, let me ask you a question. Go ahead. Ooh, ooh, ooh. How do you that's feel? The first time about Black Lives Matter, like for or the protest. Let's just keep it to the protest. The protest that happened in Miami. Um, because if you're bringing up my picture, I feel no, like no, for sure, for sure. You can ask me whatever you want to. Um, I think that well, you asking me about the protest, or are you trying to talk about everything that happened within the protest, or just the protest itself? Like, talk about the looting and all of that too, or no? How about just the pro? What the protest symbolize? What do you think they symbolize? And so, so I, I think from what I've gotten, right, from media is people are just tired, right? People are tired of the excuses that 
this country constantly makes, right? Whenever a minority gets killed, right, exactly, or it gets convenient. Whenever a minority gets killed, or whenever a minority gets treated not the right way, right? Or unlike white people, then they see it as okay, it's cool, right? So, which, which again, in within the capital is what we saw, right? Which is what I wanted to get to. Yeah. Uh, but before I get there, again, like I think that even down to the looting, um, it's I don't say it's right that they looted. But I also understood the frustration. You get me? I understood the message it gave because you can go ahead and protest, but when they tell you to peacefully protest, they're pretty much just trying to put you in a box and be like, yo, y'all can sit right here in this little playground and scream all y'all want, but don't get the fuck out of this playground, right? And that to me doesn't really send the message. That's too like, that's too controlled. I think that like, I understand that within chaos and mayhem is not necessarily good shit that happens, but I feel like, this time around, even with the lootings, you get me? It sent a message. A message that was talked about for months and months and months, and the protests went on for months too, right? You said it started off in like June, basically, and they continued to go. Yeah, I basically had to stop because I got COVID, but not from the protests. I got it from. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, at this point, it don't even matter. At, at this I, point, I got thing, it from, from my friends. I got it from my friends. From ratchetness. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, nah, from the protests, bro. It's it from the protests. Don't throw Actually, your friends it might have been, though. No. No. How do you know it's from I your friends at the protest? How do you know? Because because the but maybe you got it, it, it from no, the no, protest no, and gave it to them. So I was protesting. But put on the mic. Put on the mic. I picked up Alejandra. And I picked from up Alejandra, a protest. she had my phone number on one arm. And I in case I got arrested. And her mom's phone number, just she in case arrested. she got arrested. She was around everybody at the protest, and then we went to a party and we got drunk, and that's it. But gotcha. the next day, we all had COVID. I couldn't <laughs> get arrested again. Like, it was not going to happen. So, okay. we don't know where we yes, got COVID. Again. COVID is everywhere. Like, <laughs> <laughs> we got. I ain't gonna lie. We should talk about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not gonna <laughs> get into that one. <laughs> What's up, Jay? I did not do fraud. So yeah, I have COVID. Now that she can't be. I ain't gonna lie. You'll be a great scammer. You're like a con. She'll be a great scammer. Right? She'll be a great. You don't even expect that from her. She don't look like a scammer. I'm a cash app scammer. That's why I got arrested. You can stay a little bit longer. Like I have a shirt ready for you. Actually, Alejandra. For. I got them uh, autographed of uh, one of my mugshots. I printed out my mugshot. What the fuck are you, celebrity? <laughs> hold on, hold on. I want one of these in frame, in a I, nice little frame. I got you. I Please, bro. Yeah, I still that, yes, you got yeah, to, bro. Yeah, you got to. She, she liked my pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> she said, and I quote. Actually, you know, I'm not going to quote that. Never mind. You We're got to. We're not talking about that. You got uh, you right, you right, you right. Can we topic? Can we little topic? <laughs> We, we, we'll probably go back. Real quick, let me ask you something about the sign, though, right? The United States of Amnesia. What, what does that represent? What does that mean? So that's actually something that one of my favorite, if not my favorite professor taught us, Dr. Washington. Um, she basically taught us that this country has seen things happen so many times. And then they're like, yeah, we're going to fix it, and this is going to be great, and we're going to do this, and blah, blah, blah. Give it like 20 years, we're going to be in the same thing. And mm. it's true. Makes and sense. once she said that, I was like, whoa, like this is Cause extremely true. I, and, and I know you're real adamant on history. You, you feel like, like, like you love it because, is it safe to say you love it? I, or you like it? No, nah, I, I do love history. Um, but I don't, I like more world history than I do like American history. Gotcha. Yeah. Why? I don't know, to be honest. I, I, I like world history because I feel like so many things that happened internationally, again, back to international relations, are the reason that we are the way that we are today. Mm. Like example, Henry VIII, you know, he was married to Catherine of Aragon and then he saw um, who's, Anne Boleyn. Who's Henry VIII? You said that with too much, like we know what that is. <laughs> hey, I know our viewers don't know who the fuck that is. <laughs> who's Henry VIII? <laughs> Henry VIII was a king of England, right? Okay. Okay. England was a Catholic nation. So, was? Yeah, so okay. Rome and you know the catholic church they were the ones that basically gave money support armies whatever that these nations needed right so henry the eighth was married to catherine of aragon they were married for like 20 something years 30 something years and then he sees this girl named anne boleyn and he's like damn she's bad i want it and she told them i'm not gonna give it to you unless you get married to me now divorce is obviously something that catholics don't do and well I, was, well, I should say Christians, everybody. Um, and he basically broke with the Church of Rome and created the Church of England. 
so that he could divorce this girl. Just so he could get some cutting? Just so he could get some cutting? And then, God, after damn. he got it. <laughs> That's correct, right? Like, yo, just fuck this whole religious shit, bro, because I'm trying to get that right now. Literally. That's a whole new one. That's what happened. Just for you. And then after she gave birth to their daughter and she couldn't have a son, he had her beheaded. Okay, yeah, they used to do that back in the day. Women ain't used he to like. Her yeah, 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 yeah. I'm not wasting my time. No you see why history is so cool, though. Yeah, you definitely learn from it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, like the dictator. You ever seen the dictator? You ever seen the dictator? You never seen the movie The Dictator? No. So in the movie The Dictator, no, it. <laughs> so it's it's very like it's supposed to be real uh, like funny, you know, making fun of it. What's, what's the proper sat sat uh, satiry? Well, no, that's that's satiry rape. <laughs> What's the what's the um? Uh, you know what I'm talking about, man. Like when they make we fun. June first. <laughs> when they make funny yeah, shit. What's the, you don't know what the genre is called? Like the genre movie. Like when they're making movie parodies. It's like a parody. There we go. Satire. Okay. Satire. There we go. That's what I think about. <laughs> man, y'all know I ain't go to you school, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> the satire. So, okay. so, so in the movie, every time the girl born or every time he wants to kill somebody, he just looks at his girl and just does this. He just does yo, this. Yo, yo. So there's a scene where the girl's born. He's like, oh, it's a girl, right? And like, obviously, like, you know, you're in America. He's from like, yeah, the Middle East. So he comes to America, doesn't realize the culture. He's like, oh, it's a girl. And he's like, that's, <laughs> like, that's wild, bro. That guy's wild, bro. Okay, guy's okay. Wild. Back to... Do I, ask, do, I ask, do I ask another question? No, let her finish. Yeah, yeah I want to like, let you finish. Oh, what am I finishing up? I don't even remember. You guys got me here on... There we go. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's he beheaded no, daughter. He beheaded her, and then he got married to another girl, and then he beheaded her, and then he got married to another girl. No, but, but I, I, I get what you're saying. Like, through that little thing, that's how you learn, like, what the fuck is going on in the world in general. That's like, why I like history. It's, it's what, yeah, I got you. And, and, and it makes sense. What do you think, though, about the comparison between Black Lives Matter and what happened in the Capitol, though? Uh, is exactly it the same? What, no, or? I, exactly what I said. Oh, you! I thought you meant like the reaction. No, not the like the. Com so, for example, okay, like in Black Black Lives Matter, right? You can argue that well, they went out there, they looted, they protested, they fucked shit up, no, they messed no, but cars that was up. A boiling point, like right, right. It I, was I, a I agree. boiling point for all these injustices, mm -hmm. all these people getting killed for what? Um, I forgot his name. The one that I think it was a the one that was jogging, you know. And then the ex-police officer mm -hmm. and his son, they shot him. They killed him. Yeah, he was like 25, 26, something like that. For what? He was jogging, you know, or all these other, like Tamir Rice, you know, all these other cases, right? Yeah. It's a boiling point. It's like, yo, this is enough. Enough is enough. Like, the, it, how much more are people supposed to like, right. I, I was going to say I want that because I don't remember how to say it in English. But how to hold um, on. How do you say that in English? I want that hold. Okay. How yeah, much more? You have to hold in. Like, so hold Google. in. Yeah. Like how are you supposed much to hold that? In? Google supposed translate. To yeah. Now, what happened in the capital is no, 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 no. The elections are wrong. No, it's wrong. No, the votes are wrong. No, there's voter fraud. No, the computer was broken. No, there's no. Specifically, that. though, driven no. by Donald Trump, though. Take Specifically your L. driven. Yeah. yeah. Take your L and go. Like, that's it. You lost. Yeah. That is the difference. The difference is injustice versus. Tyranny, mm. or um, what's another word that I could, because I was going to say it in Spanish again, but I don't know the English say word. Spanish, say like it. when a toddler throws a tantrum, that, like that's basically what it is. Like injustice versus a, a tantrum. tantrum. You just said the you just yeah, said the word. I said like, it tantrum? like afterwards. I didn't yeah. even notice. <laughs> it's it's like when a child throws a tantrum, I was like, I think a you're tantrum? about tantrum, bro. <laughs> He, he, like you're throwing a tantrum and then you're telling, it's like a toddler telling all these other toddlers, I, yo, I need you to go, you know, yeah, do something about this. Yeah. And yeah. But yeah, but this toddler is also a toddler who doesn't know how to take his loss. Yeah. Unless you're going to yeah. say, yeah. like, oh, no, you know, voter fraud. Oh, no, this. Oh, no, that. I mean, when he won, they, yeah. they did the same thing when he won. So, But he's like, no, nah, it it's not real. Yeah. And look what happened. We dealt with him for four years. It's not real. Yeah, man. And they're trying. Oh, let, let me ask you this. So, is there really, like in importance or like does it really matter trying to impeach him at this point like what's the point of doing that well look as far as impeachment goes i think there's a common misconception that people think that impeachment means removal of, of office you can be impeached and not removed from the office senate has to remove you from the office right so right now and then on top of that mitch mcconnell already said that he can't call the senate in until the day before joe biden's uh inauguration and then on top of that, Joe Biden said, I don't want the first weeks of my presidency to be basically consumed by these by, trials. Yeah. So 
I, I guess, yeah, whatever. Yeah. If you want to make a point, you can. You're, you're making the point of this is the first president in history, you know, that would be impeached twice, and it's to show you that you can't just do things. But for it to actually make a difference, I think it would have to be more towards that 14th Amendment route that they were talking about. They kind of alluded to it in the draft that they, like, submitted today, that, you know, if there's this 14th Amendment thing that basically says that if you try to cause an insurrection or cause damage to the Republic of the United States of America, you will not be allowed to hold office. You know, you're not going to be allowed to hold office. So right now, yeah, they could impeach him, but he could run in 2024. Mm. Unless, for example, you go and you actually 14th Amendment right, well, gotcha. route. Um, so, so impeaching him will basically not allow him to run again if he wanted to 2024. If you what? impeach him right now, again, it doesn't mean removal of office, and he could definitely run in 2024, even if he gets removed from office. But, um, that's some fuck shit. As, wow. Yeah, I know. That's why I said <laughs> as far as the 14th Amendment route, that would be the... That, and that's what they're trying to get in. That's something that they alluded to. Okay, and but that, it's shaky. Because they also tried to do that 25th Amendment thing, you know, and get Vice President Mike Pence on board, and then he was like, nah. So... Let me ask you something. What do you... What do you think motivated him to become president? Because he's somebody that has so much wealth. He doesn't. He didn't need to do that. He no, didn't he need didn't. to become president. What do you think? I can't speak for him because I, first of all, I've never met the man. Second of all, I don't know what his mindset is. Uh, so I can't really say why he decided to go for president. What I can say is that he used the Republican platform to get there. And he used that conservative you know, Christian vote also to get there. Mm. Because he aligned, quotation, align with all these ideologies that have to do with, let's call it the right. Um, when in reality, he said it a bunch of times himself that he aligned more with the left than with Democrats. He used the platform. But I can't really say why he decided to run for presidency. Why, why do you think, though, Christians feel as though the Republican Party represents their interests the most? Because the Republican Party is mostly aligned with conservative ideologies such as, you know, it should be a man and a woman that are married. It, abortion should not be legal. Uh, we should have prayer in schools. The Bible should be brought back to school. You know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. it, you know, it, it makes sense why a lot of Christians align with that side, even though as Christians, you know, we should not choose a side. Okay, well, I, I agree. You shouldn't. No. But this is the thing, right? And, and the way I think about it. So, one, one of the reasons you gave for a Christian wanting to be in the Republican side is probably, for example, gay marriage, right? Or Which, those abortion. Those are the big ones. You know, right. Those are the big ones. Making it legal or not. Why do you think that matters to Christians if whether it's legal or illegal, these people are going to do this shit anyways? Like, for example, like before, right, there was Planned Parenthood. Mm -hmm. There was girls going to the hood and having a homegirl with a wire pull out your baby, right? Before gay marriage was legal, gay people were still, still getting together. married, right? So, like, Brokeback Mountain. why do you think Christian... <laughs> right, Brokeback Mountain. There you go. So, why do you, why do you think that Christian... Because this is what it seems like, right? It seems like Christian people want to impose their belief and what they feel is right to the entire world. Also, I think we should, again, same thing that we did before. Not generalize? Uh, yeah, not generalize. Okay. I, well, I then how, how would we you... We could use the word Christian, okay. uh, just with the disclaimer that this does not represent all, all Christians. All Christians, right, right. So not, right, not every single Christian person thinks this way, but disclaimers I've, are I've heard, yes, disclaimers are important for sure. <laughs> but I, I feel like from, you know, mind you, I come from a Christian background. I know a lot of Christian Hispanics, especially all of that vibe, right? And a lot of the stuff I've heard from them has always been, if you're a Christian, go for Trump. You know, that's, that, that's who aligns with our values. He's the person who's trying to avoid all this at the third, right? Why? Like, what is the point of legality and, like, spirituality? Like, where does this really mix in together? Honestly, you know to, what I mean? to be completely honest with you, I feel like maybe you or someone that was raised Christian could probably answer that question better because of the fact that I wasn't raised that way. You know, my parents obviously are very liberal, they're very democratic, you know, they didn't take me to church. I got there when I was 15. Yeah. So I never had that. I never had to hear like, oh, this side aligns with our ideologies more than the other one as far as like 
what comes from the Bible goes. You know, my parents just basically always said people should be allowed to do whatever they want as long as it does not harm anyone. If you are a man and you want to be with a man, you should be allowed to be with that man. Mm -hmm. um, George? And Do you think, George? <laughs> I'm just letting you know it's safe for you. It's I, always been safe. It's a safe space. I think that the reason why they preferred for that to be legal, for gay marriage to be legal or abortion to be legal or whatever, that my parents would always tell me that, is because they wanted people to know, like, you can't do this legally without repercussions, you know, of someone hurting you or someone doing this or someone doing that and yeah. having no legal repercussions themselves. So I think that's where they came from. So I don't know if maybe that's the same thing as far as Christians go mm -hmm. um, with the Republican side. Maybe they want to know and to show their children, hey, look, this is legal. Mm. Our values matter in this country. They're part of the law. Mm. So maybe that's why that's the best guess I could give. Yeah, I mean, I, and, and I, I get it, too. You, you did a good job answering that. It's just... I've always thought about it like this, right? So I, I do remember this Bible verse or maybe this story more, right? Because I play off of movies more than I've ever read, right? Mm -hmm. And it's always been give to who, Pilot? Pilot? That's the nigga's name back in the day? The nigga from Rome? Caesar, what belongs to Caesar. Caesar. And then get, uh, who was Pilot? Who's Pilot there? Something like that. <laughs> who am I talking about? I think you're like, are you talking about Pontius Pilot? I don't know what I'm talking about. Never That's mind. the guy that watched me right and now. was like, yo, I have nothing to do with Jesus' death. That's all on y'all. Yeah, I might be tripping a little bit. Okay, so it's give to Caesar, whatever, right? What belongs to Caesar, and then you give to God what belongs to God, right? So it's essentially saying, like, yo, that's specifically talking about taxes, right? Mm. Like, specifically. But it's also referring to abide by the laws in which you are living in yeah. within whatever realm of society, but also understand the whole godly thing, right? Which I'm not trying to dismiss by saying that. But. No, you know, you talked about kindness, and one of the biggest things, one of the biggest teachings, and I think that I've always remember is when I hear about, like, you know, Jesus spending his time with prostitutes, drug dealers, and all types of, like, you know, what people consider weirdos, or what people consider to be bad, or what yeah. Christian people consider to be bad, right? But, you know, nowadays, not all Christians, like you said, right, disclaimer, some Christians, it seems like they don't even want you to be on that level. Like, when they see you hanging around with, like, people that are bad, they don't want you to hang around them because so now they're not looking at it. Did you say what? A Pharisee. So, so like a Pharisee. Because I feel like they, okay, a lot of parents when they do that, when they tell, yo, don't hang around with this person because that person is going to get you into trouble, right? And that's bad and God doesn't like that. This is the third. They write sounds it, it, No, they're not wrong, but they're using their, like their parenting style and then they start blending it with God. And now they start making you feel like, oh, if I associate myself with these people, I'm sinning against God. Like religious abuse. And, uh, but I feel like that's exactly what happens, I think, within our culture. I mean, like you said, may maybe you might not be able to speak on it too much, but, you know, within our culture, that's yeah, usually right. how it's looked at, right? Like, if I'm ever hanging around with anyone who has a reputation of smoking weed or doing drugs, and my parents know, they're going to be like, yo, don't hang around that guy. Don't bring that guy to the house. Don't, you know what I'm saying? But it almost goes against, I guess, more or less what the teachings are. And I guess in, within context, right? Because if you're chilling with them and you're doing bullshit too, then clearly you're doing it wrong, right? Like you're not trying to like better nobody's life. So I understand okay. that. I understand that too. But for you though, you just feel like within that realm of like why Christians will pick that, it just has to do with like the law, just the law kind of protecting them like from what they believe also? I guess. I mean, that was the best answer that I could give you. I guess it was, you okay. know, like uh, looking at it that type of way. Again, I wish I could give you a better answer. But since I don't really have that background, I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know. Because by the time I got to church and I was told like, oh, you shouldn't hang out with this person, you shouldn't hang out with that person, which wasn't even from my parents telling me that, it was from people in church. Which is, that's how you see I was already to. old enough that I was like, but why? <coughs> right, right. But you, why? Gotcha. So, so you just got to a level where you were already like conscious of asking these questions. And I think that was one of the reasons that I have a hard time like, I have a really hard time having the Bible as my true 100%, you know, belief and reconciling everything that my parents taught me. It's very hard for me. I do hold the Bible as word of law. The, yeah. To me, the Bible is what the Bible is. But it's really hard for me to reconcile it with everything that I learned. So, yeah. you know, I know that I'm supposed to be like, no, gay okay, people should not be married. But then I come in and I'm like, but, <laughs> you know, so it, it's, it's hard. Yeah.
Yeah. And that's what church has confined us itself, not the love of God. Yeah. Church. And those are two big differences. Mm. Yeah. Um, you got another question before I want, kind of want to ask her something that's a little bit outside of the political realm. What is it? No, go ahead. No. Um, I feel like we've been kind of outside the political realm for a little a while. bit. Yeah, yeah. This, this turned into like a, a religious. It did. Talk. And, well, that, that's kind of what I was gonna get to, right? Because so you know, me and Jay uh, were talking yesterday a little bit about death, right? And I was I was basically telling him how um, I got highlighted. I got gifted a Bible, right? And I was I was highlighted certain verses in that Bible, right? That I haven't forgotten yet. Amazingly, uh, Ecclesiastes. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Solomon, right? The Solomon mm-hmm. wrote that book. He talks about how mm-hmm. life is basically meaningless. That mm-hmm. the only thing there is to do, right, is to eat good food, drink good wine, love God. If you find love, hold that person and walk with that person with love, because your days are meaningless anyways. Mm-hmm. And it also talks about how you're going to a place of death. Mm-hmm. Or depending on the version you have, you get me. Uh, I guess I'll say it different. Where there is nothing to learn, there is no knowledge to gain. There is nothing to have. So the whole point of living is to what, obtain knowledge. Try to like find, because it also talks about like if you find something to do with your hands, do the best that you can with that. Yeah. Because at the end of the day, it's meaningless. So that you book being, has always been so confusing to me. Right. So you being a Christian, this is your opinion too, you know, and what you think. You being a Christian, you being in the politics, and you trying to advance in life at the same time. What do you think about that? Is about, it still like, yeah, about that whole like, is life really that meaningless? Like all the things that we do are really meaningless or do they mean something? Because aren't, isn't the life that we live here supposed to like add up to us, whether you believe in God or not, right? Or whatever you believe in, add up to you going to heaven or hell or whatever. But then if it's meaningless, then what does it add up to? Well, it's, wow. First of all, that's a very big question and I'm probably not even going to answer it correctly. That's cool. No, no. Um, so I don't... I don't think it's meaningless. And the reason that I don't think it's meaningless is because I feel like every little thing that you do in life will add up to a point where you leave your footprint in the sand. And, and I think the reason that I say it like that is because I feel like everything that you do will leave a footprint. And at one point, those footprints will run out because your life is going to be over. But the important thing is leaving footprints that other people could follow and then go even further. And then once their footprint stops, someone else could go and go even further. And I think something that's really important to know with that is, for example, this whole thing that I was talking about kindness, right? This whole thing about wanting to make a difference in the world and whatever. Maybe you only make a difference in one person's life. Maybe your footprints in the sand only do one thing or you just leave one footprint. But if you impacted that one thing, that one person, and that person could reach two people, and then it goes to five people, and then it goes to 10, and then 20, and then whatever. I don't find it meaningless, which, again, me trying to reconcile my beliefs with the Bible. I don't find it meaningless because it's like you left behind, even if it was just that one thing, that would be enough to lead someone else to somewhere else. And maybe, maybe they leave 10 footprints, mm-hmm. you know? So I don't think anything that you do is meaningless. I don't think that you doing this podcast is meaningless. I don't think you wearing that shirt that has an elf on it is meaningless. Everything has meaning somehow. Yeah. Everything is going to lead to something, which also goes back into that history thing. One day, this day is going to be history for you. Mm-hmm. 20 years from now, is going to be history. Yeah, we were talking about They were like, you know, maybe later on in a row, 100 years from now, somebody's going to watch this. Yeah. Somebody somewhere in some fucking thing is going to watch this. It's going to watch it. These are people like 100 years ago. Wow. Exactly. And they're going to see it and they're going to be like, look, I found meaning in this podcast. I'm never going to wear a shirt like George was wearing oh. or glasses like that girl was wearing. <laughs> you know? No, kind of, nah, I mean, you, you, it makes a lot of sense because even, even if you put that into context today, right? If you were to look at a podcast 100 years from today, and see how people spoke back then and how they dress and how they express themselves, yeah. you'll be saying the same shit. You'll be like, I'll never wear that shit or I will never speak like that. So it's, it, and I, I get it because I think that that's the beauty in humanity. Like what you just explained right now is a, a perspective because if you were to take an aerial view of Earth, let's say you're watching like aliens, right? You're looking, because I was just having this conversation, right? Like if an alien or, who, or whoever, right, was just aerial view of Earth, you're looking at us as human, as a human race, as humans, right? We, amongst each other, look at each other differently. We don't look at each other as humans. We have that understanding. We look at each other as black, white, Chinese, yeah. Arab, 
uh, Hispanic, non-Hispanic, like, you know, whatever, whatever religious. That's how we look at each other, right? Mm -hmm. And so I think the perspective you gave, if somebody were to look at it from an area of view, be like, yeah, but this is meaningless because this person does something, it passes on to this guy, but this guy dies anyway, so his job's to pass on to that guy, and that's why it becomes meaningless. But I think as humans, we find a way every time to give something meaning or to give our life purpose. You get what I'm saying? Because I feel like at the end of the day, like, you know, we... If you, you know, pay attention to science, you believe in all that stuff, right? You realize, yo, you don't use 100% of your brain, right? Mm -hmm. Like 100% of the capacity of your brain, right? You're very limited to whatever. And, it, and it's based on everybody. Everybody's different, right? You hear a, a solid number, but that solid number doesn't apply to everybody. Somebody uses 6%. Other people use 10. Other people use 12. It varies. You get me? And I feel like, you know, a big part of all of this shit that's happening is us trying to get to, like, just a bigger like a bigger meaning to life, right? Like trying to reach that 100%, which we're never going to reach, but we try to get there by obtaining material shit, power. You get me? And when you said, why would Donald Trump want to do this? I feel like that's just part of it, bro. Like, you have all the money. You have all the girls. You've had all the parties. You've hung out with all the famous people. Like, mind you, my Donald Trump before Donald Trump presidency was like a hip-hop, like, really thing. You get me? Like, yeah, like, people used to rap about Donald Trump. You get me? In a positive light. So, <laughs> things have changed so much. I feel like that's what drives us to that, to that extent. But at the end of the day, like, you know, and I, even I'm down, just all about perspective. You know what I mean? Is that everybody's looking for purpose and everything. Mm -hmm. I mean, like you said, everybody's trying to make everything meaningful. Like, what's your purpose of doing I'm down? You're trying to reach people. You're trying to give something of value mm -hmm. to people, you know? And I guess the reason that we could say everything is meaningless is if you don't understand your true purpose, if you're just trying to do things to seek a purpose, not understanding what your true purpose is and Again, in my Christian belief, everybody's true purpose is to glorify God. So if you are trying to seek this meaning and doing all these different things, the girls, the this, the money, the whatever, I'm saving up all this money to do this or do that, then it becomes meaningless. Like, and again, it might sound yeah, weird, but I get it. It sounds, it, it becomes meaningless because now you're doing it to seek something which is already innate within you. Mm -hmm. You know, so yeah. I guess that's where I could understand why he would say everything's meaningless. Yeah. You know, yeah. so yeah, I'm good. You got any more questions? I'm confusion because no. I thought that this was going to be about the Capitol riot. And I thought so too, but sometimes yeah. when you yeah, just talk, so philosophy, you be talking, like, hey man, you, when you talk, you get in the conversation. You know, that's just how it flows. That's the whole point of bringing a guest on. We just pick up brains. Yeah. yeah, you guys just pick up random. But there's a point of I'm down, right? Like, you know. N n do whatever now, we want, whatever we feel. right? Like now, flow. we're trying to add more structure to the show, right? So that yeah. we can flow through it. But you know, when we first started, it was yo what's on your mind let's talk about that shit and let's put yeah. it out there because whether it was a funny topic a serious topic something that was meaningless we talked about it we talking about it because yeah because it's like yo look we're having these conversations anyway somebody out there might just benefit from this shit well now yeah. now that you kind of said this and you're kind of wrapping it up i just have a quick question so if everything is meaningless you know and everything this and everything that was the capital riot meaningless and is the black lives matter movement meaningless um, I think. Oh, you asking me that question now? I'm asking both of you. I don't think it's. I don't think it's meaningless. Oof. No. I, I, okay. Talk. Say why. Why don't. Why don't you think it's meaningless? Not that it doesn't have purpose, but is it meaningless? Well, that riot, the the terrorist attack. That was a terrorist attack. That was I, meaningless. I that you. didn't need to happen. That didn't need to happen. But it was just people that felt like they they had the right. I'm an American. I have uh, the right. Tantrum. I have the right. I could come in that bitch and do whatever the fuck I want. And nobody did And not nothing. get shot. And not get shot and not worry about uh, people did it's a fourth, you know, they did get shot, but Well yeah, yeah, yeah. You, but Somebody, you know what I mean. You mean yeah, like the yeah, I, there I was mean no the fear. Of... There was no fear. And obviously, I don't know. I know you know this. Somebody up above said, Hey, let him go in. Don't 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 hold him back. Don't hold him back. Well, yeah, they, 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, that was a little that was a little crazy. Lady that got shot. Actually I help help somebody officer, get down. Uh, that the two police officers that one took a selfie with one and that the other one was giving people in they got directions. Today. <laughs> like, yo, that's crazy to me. Like, that was what? crazy to me too. Yeah. They, they You're giving directions to people. Yeah, like, that he was giving yeah, they were escorting them. He was like, yeah, yo, just take a right at the stairs. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, they, they, they were everybody. talking to the to the um the dude in the little weird suit or whatever the that was tattooed on his chest and he had the little Chewbacca you know, you, you costume. Know about, oh, you know about that? Guy. You know, he was in jail and his mom 
Yeah, I heard you know about, about that? that. I heard you about know that. About that. So yeah, he went to jail. They caught him. They mm-hmm. caught his ass. And his mom was like, he hasn't ate in what three days? Yeah, something like you that. You gotta feed him organic mm-hmm. food. He he's yeah, in jail. He, he said he gets physically ill if he doesn't eat organic. Do you, do you food. Realize, I didn't you know even get crazy? a sandwich you know, when I was cra- in TGK. Like, you know the, what the hell? You know it's crazy. They, they approved his organic food today. No, they did? They gave him organic no. food in jail. Oh, can I get a pellegrino if I ever go back? I doubt it. You're Chinese, bro. Bro, I didn't respect the other. You're white. Gotta be white. For this, like China. Said, you know what I was? I didn't even get toilet paper, bro. You, give it Wait, you don't get toilet it? paper? I did not get toilet paper. So what do you like get? Said, so how do you like? You're not supposed to wipe. Somebody above taking care of his people. Somebody above taking care of his people. He well, the word. I know that for sure. And like everybody, everybody knows. It. Everybody says it. Sorry, yeah. There was a bunch of black people running up in this. No, show. yeah. Right. Which that's down. why I said yeah. the, uh, right. the, the reaction was not. The whole was that one black dude just walking around. Oh, I saw that. The reaction was not the same. At all, you know, at all. That's outrageous, bro. I don't, and I don't they stormed that. a federal building, which is a federal yeah, building. Yeah. And I mean, um, I saw a cop, like one of the former police officers. He was saying that their job isn't to defend the building; it's to defend the Congress people, right? The congressmen and women. Yeah. And I mean, that's cool enough. Yeah. But listen, when you know, if you look at the clips, right? Because they went in from all directions, right? Yeah. They were not equipped or using the same force at the beginning like they were when they were getting ready for the protest. Now, I don't know if that's because they weren't aware, but that's besides the point because what you said is like indefinite. You said it's a federal building. Like it yeah. is where like these very important world leaders meet. You know what I mean? So this is supposed to already be like on lockdown. You get what I'm saying? So it, it, it definitely like shows us like, yo, like, the, like you said, the reaction that y'all gave to the capital people ain't the same that y'all was giving to BML. Does, is that dude, Black Lives Matter? Um, like where was it? I forgot where it was that there was uh, a medical tent that they just like broke the medical tent that the police officers just like took it all down. They were like, "Now nah, get out of here!" And they like pepper sprayed a doctor. You know that they were there in Black Lives Matter. Protests. In Black Lives Matter. Okay, got gotcha. you. Know, so it's like, okay, so you could destroy this medical tent, but homeboys walking around with a podium. And yeah. he's perfectly fine. And he actually got to put that thing on eBay. Yo, that he put it on, on eBay? eBay? <laughs> you ain't know that? <laughs> no, I did not know that. that. <laughs> that thing, the, the, $99,000. That's how much it's worth Somebody would pay for that. It started at 400 I would bid for it. I would bid 400 Well, 400 It started at 435 or something I would bid $4. $4 for Nancy? It was Nancy Pelosi's podium. Okay. Burn that shit. I'll answer this. I'll answer. You said it. it's not meaningless. But I'll, I'll go on the other side just because I want to play the bad guy, right? I'll say Honestly, this. I didn't even know what the question meant. It just came to my well, head. Yeah, I was but, like, let me ask. But <laughs> I, I, I'll, I'll say why it is meaningless, though. All it's right. meaningless because we shouldn't even be having these quarrels to begin with. Like, we shouldn't even be in this position. Like, this is so yeah, past good. us that... I'm just saying that we shouldn't even be, like, on this type of time. Number. Like, we shouldn't be on right, whether ladies. a life you know, a white life matters more than a black life or a Latino life or whatever. Like, we shouldn't even be talking about that the anymore. United but States we are. Like the of amnesia. Huh? The United States of amnesia. And, 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 and that, that's what I mean. Like, yo, we, we don't hear stories back to back to back, especially here in America, right? You take any history class, you're going to hear about slavery, you're going to hear about all the shit that happened, and you'll think, like, yo, we are way past that, and clearly we're not way past no, that. You no. get me? And There's still trauma. And, those, and that's what I'm saying. Know, and so you know, it's right. meaningless in the sense of, why are we still talking about like let's say for example right because you know the big talk last week was aliens right and aliens are gonna come and aliens are watching us and ufos x y and z right because you know you know how it goes I mean, every, every now and then there is footage to deal with that literally. of aliens yeah, i haven't jail. seen that okay so i don't have a hard time believing in aliens so. you oh man okay I, hold I up before we get into that though well, before we get into all, that but that, UFO, that's just it though they, they, aliens? they release ufo sightings ufo doesn't mean alien it just means well yeah, yeah. unidentified yeah. flying object i could be an unidentified flying object you really can't if i like like, eh. in the middle of the night. Eh. No, 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 no. <laughs> when do you fly? <laughs> no, no, when do you fly? When do you fly? No, I've never no, seen a Chinese no, person no, jump out of pressure in my life. I'm not Chinese. Never. Oh. Never. <laughs> Honduran, Honduran. I'm sorry. I really don't believe in Bro, she's Chinese, bro. Nah, Stop calling I her. I don't, don't believe there's any other. Do we go back to TGK? I, or DG? I, I what's that thing called? Dirty Ghetto Kids? What's the What's the jail called that you want to TGK? TGK. You want to TGK? TGK. I did go to TGK. Why are you guys bringing up my talk about that or no? I don't know. You're hungry over there. Hungry wants to talk about Japan. Now nah, we don't got to talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we are not talking about that. Can we talk about that? Oh my Hold God. Up, bro. I'm busy right now. I do not right believe now. in aliens. We're not talking about the pancake. 
<laughs> and <laughs> I don't know why, why, why don't you believe in aliens? Why? Well, actually, wait, let me you ask you this. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Let me ask you this. No, no, this no, question, I've never seen I'll tell you why. This, the, the, if this answer will tell me everything. Okay. Do you believe that there are other planets within our solar system? Like, you believe that Mars exists? You believe in all those yeah. planets? You believe there's and other and galaxies? I believe, and I believe there's other. I do believe there's other life forms. On other planets. I, I, so how do you I not believe in aliens? Believe? Because I don't believe, believe, believe that they're coming over here on spaceships. No, they're not. So not that, you do believe in... You acknowledge that they could be aliens. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I don't personally... Look, yeah, look, you do believe I don't personally believe, I believe in other life forms, but when you guys say aliens... Okay, but in my mind, when yeah, you say you. aliens, You think of an invasion. You think of an invasion. Like, I see Paul coming back. You see Paul? You see Paul coming back. I see Paul. So I don't know. That's an alien. That might be an alien, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think we'll call it an alien. Realistically, if any, any, I'm in, anything middle, from space, I'm in the middle with that because I don't know enough to be like, yeah, this is real. But I know enough to be like, this can't be fake. Yo, my uncle's an alien. He came from Nicaragua. Yeah, an illegal alien. Hey, that's a whole different story, but don't. We're talking about different aliens. All right, we're talking about different aliens. Fuck, I'm done. Are you going to ask something else about No, aliens? I'm done. I'm done. You want to wrap uh, it up? No, I meant about aliens. Oh, no, 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 I'm not asking about, about aliens. I'm very upset that you don't. You don't. You didn't even say. Uh, you didn't even say. I don't know. I can't ask. No, nah, but she you does, though. No. No, no, no. This is why. This is why. No, I feel like no, anyone, no. anyone who believes that there is other galaxies and other planets that of exist, course. then you more than likely acknowledge that there could be other life form right of not course. necessarily that you know there is other life form over here visiting us? I, I don't believe they're coming so. over here no, I, I don't believe they're pro honestly this, this is what i think i think that possibly possibly god's been experimenting and probably did different things on different galaxies <laughs> on different times <laughs> for real <laughs> and you know what maybe there's like different bibles for different planets and shit but they okay. all died and they got no, extinct i don't think about that i, I don't know nah, I'm saying, i thought about this because that because think about it right you know this what I mean? we say for different bibles we for different say planets. it could be though it could literally be that because why you, you ever asked that right so we believe that there's other galaxies we believe that there's other planets at and that, that point you might as well creation. And we are the what? That we're the crown of creation. We're the jewel of creation. I mean, but think about it, though. Do you Usually when you do something for the first time, do you get it perfect the first time? Probably. Ah. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Sometimes it takes you a little bit. So maybe that's what happened with God. Maybe God tried some things that he wasn't really fucking... Cause, I mean, okay. I'll tell you what. <laughs> think about this. <laughs> yes. Damn, this that's, no. Just, hey, as a Christian, time out. Sad. Time out. Time that? out. Y'all like, gonna forget man. that God did not flood the earth one time because you believe in that for sure. He flooded the earth and once. killed everybody, every human except being except for Abraham and his peoples, and they don't did incest. Noah. Oh Noah, there we go. His people, all that incest you shit. You me to believe. Yeah, yeah no, yeah, no, what I mean, bro. You gotta go back to church for like a. Nah, few. man. Uh, let me take it back to so, hell. So, so, so think about that, right? Like, if God was willing to do that one time, like, he did that multiple times, though. He, yeah, he, like he, just he so, got so, Sodom and Gomorrah, fire done. Gone. Okay, but he flooded the earth once. That's that's pretty. Uh, that's pretty bad. That's what the that's what the rainbow is. The symbol of I'm not gonna flood the earth again. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, you gonna burn it down or something like that? I don't know what's <laughs> gonna do next. I don't know. Like he probably says hurricanes. I don't fuck fucking know. Yeah. Hurt like yeah. Like, like but the point is that he's done it before, so we don't we don't know. Like that's the thing. Like we're arrogant. We're too arrogant to believe that we're the I'll only you, ones I'll here. Like that's too though. arrogant of us to to be as humans. Like to believe that we're really I the do only not life. I think that God. Made, like, I'm not. I'm not saying people. that because that's me just bullshitting. As a, that's theories. But I'm saying Christian, other life forms. As a Christian, God goes to you. These are my leftovers. These are the things that I fucked up creating. But but you're the perfect one, though. Maybe kind of awkward. You'd be like, know, okay, because okay. Uh, let me ask you, why why God destroyed? Why did God flood the earth the first time? Because he kept telling them, yo, you guys are sinners. You need to stop. You okay. need to stop. And they didn't stop. So, so like, what if he created other people in Mars, Jupiter, like uh, Pluto, no, right? Which is the close, farthest. Bro. Not too close. What That's you mean? Too close. Okay, but think about it. Pluto close, is the farthest man. planet from us. We don't consider a planet no more. We consider like a mini planet That's or some shit like I, that. No, I think it came back a dwarf as a planet, planet, didn't it? Is it a dwarf planet? Is co- it came back? Yes, yeah, I think so. they end up saying again that it, they were going to count it as a planet? That is yeah. a planet? Okay, so what if he started with the little ass planet? Oh she didn't fly right, and he just like you know what? I'm gonna create something with some rings on it. So, so I'm then you think he's with some... gonna destroy us and then go to the last? Well, he two? is gonna destroy us though. No, but and you think that he's gonna move on to the last two? Well, no, because we might be the last creation. We might be like I'm done. Like I'm done with this shit. Like, we're, we're perfect. He might be like I'm done with this shit. I'm, I'm, done with I'm good. good. No it's too stress. It's too much stress. Yeah, it's too much stress. I'm done. I'm done. It, it might be too much stress. If he comes. <laughs> there we go. Too stressful for him. I'll tell you what, though. If he comes around and says, I'm going to wipe everybody and just leave two people. 
Or leave like a small group. Nah, oh, he be that didn't work out. He t- started doing that yeah, too. Adam that and Eve, and that shit didn't work out, out either. Right now, I'm saying right now it's not gonna work. No, it just it never worked. That, that's what, that's what I'm trying to get at. Like what I'm trying to get is that like he could have been trying all these things and it never worked out. Maybe the way that he, or maybe it did work out the way he wanted it to be. Maybe he just be sad because he wants to sometimes. I don't know. Like I don't know what God is. Because so here's the thing. <laughs> what is going on here? God, God gives here. you free will, right? This is a sinful podcast. I nah, must get off. is it really? <laughs> I must get off. Nah, you know what? I'm gonna stop bullshitting. Let's wrap it up. Let's wrap it up. Wait, wait, wait. I have one oh. more thing. All right, Are you ahead. actually gonna ask me about the pancake? Because nah, all, you, I you like to, all I would like to, like to, like to explain about the pancake. All right, explain, 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 explain how you're a federal all I would a criminal. Like to explain about the pancake is that. Wait, 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 wait. Before you get to the pancake, explain first why you got into the feds. Yeah, why you got into the feds? Why the feds got you? Did they put you in the What did you suit? do? I was scamming. You was what? You was scamming for real? Oh, you, I, I would not be here. here. <laughs> That's not scamming. You would oh, not be here right now. You <laughs> would not be here right now. It was dumb. I just missed a court date. But. No, but you can't just go over that like it's nothing. You just missed a court date and go court, to jail? I, I promise. I missed a court date. It was a jury. Right? Right? I, I missed a court date. Okay, can you explain to me the process of how you got bust down? I know how you got bust down. Yeah. All right? They busted you down bad. You warrant for your arrest. Yeah. But how did they get you? You want to explain that or no? Just get into I it. was on, just driving and then I got pulled over. Yeah, that's what I was Whoa. gonna get. Nah, 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 nah. You can't give us. You can't jump. You can't jump. You can't give us. Give the us some context. I, the reason I brought it up is because I have been confused about the pancake, and I've asked several people, and nobody has been able to explain it to me. So since okay. I'm on the podcast, maybe you guys can explain it to me. Okay. Whatever. I got arrested. I went to TGG. I was there for a couple hours, and then. Yeah, I was there for like 18 hours. I wasn't there for That's more. That's a lot of time, bro. bro. Still a calm, you could have got shot. You could have got shot in jail. <laughs> Anyways. So, <laughs> when you're leaving, they give you your clothes back to change. <laughs> I hate it. Uh-huh. As I was changing, the girl told me, oh, you got a fat pancake. Who told you? What girl? Some girl that I was changing with. An inmate? Yeah. She was an inmate, too. She said, you got a... Fat ass pancake? <laughs> oh, that's a little. When you got to add the ass to it, that's how you know. <laughs> what she told me? No, but that's what I don't know. No, but that's why I'm asking. Did she say pancakes? Or did she no, she said pancakes. It don't matter. I think, yo, this means you got a fat ass. That's all. No, means. no, but okay. the, the thing is, is it the front? Is it the back? That's the that's question. The We're all that's confused. The I ain't never hear nobody call a vagina pancake. It has to be booty. <laughs> it's a but, booty. So what? So you take you have a fat ass. Flat ass? No, as it's a fat. pancake. No, because she's saying she'll know if it's the front or the back. That's what you're trying yeah, to say? Yeah, I didn't it's know. I ain't never. Hey, you if ever you heard somebody call so a pancake? Aren't pancakes flat? No. No. They have to be fluffy, nigga, for you to enjoy them. What that kind of true, about? bro. You gotta go. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> flat pancakes. You're giving that. yourself up. That's how I know you're from the hood for real, nigga. This nigga got little thin ass pancakes going on, bro. That's how I know. <laughs> you don't got enough batter to make a Go to IHOP. They got them little thick joints for you, bro. I swear. I swear. Okay. I, swear. Wait, wait, wait. I think my real question quick. got answered. Pancakes or waffles? What should you trying to say you got a fat ass? What? Pancakes or waffles? Pancakes. Okay. I can't Makes sense. You, Damn. No. <laughs> well. That's it. You good? Yeah, you good? You should, yeah, nobody got no more answer. questions before I wrap up. Yeah, I just had that to get that answered. All right, Masco. Wait, 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 wait. All right, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Wait, wait, wait. We have to do an for the last five, ten minutes. You was in there because I, I went in there, but for a different reason, obviously. You were scamming, huh? Fuck no. You were scamming. He <laughs> tried to sound cool. No, that was in that trip. You know what I'm saying? He I went on a field I, trip. I had, the right, I had the right to get out whenever I wanted to. I could have said, I'm uncomfortable here. Oh, you were there on a field trip? Oh, yes. so you were fed. Yes. Oh. They were just, they were just there showing me, look, guys, when you finally come in here, the bathroom's over here, the room's over here. The bathroom's in front of everybody. Why, Why would window? they introduce jail like that to I'm kids? I'm with you. I'm about to say, like, what the fuck? They tell you, kids, this is where you're going to all end up, so get comfortable. Well, already, like, to me because it's like you're gonna end up here anyway, so you might as well just get to well, the place. Well, goddamn, what kind of school? All I don't right. want to go to that school. They, they over here talk to the they, they may talk to us and be like, he's probably gonna be your, your cellmate. I don't know. Whenever you've been in here, That's yeah, terrible. Right. Oh, they the school 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 school. So you went to the whole like Jackson. What you talking? About? Jackson, Jackson got no you? elementary school. Jackson, Jackson took, took me. you to TJK. Jackson, Jackson, Jackson took me. Well, nah, it was like uh, what is it? Was uh, what class are you? Sixteen, right? No, eighteen. Eighteen. You were class of eighteen. Yeah. Oh, I'm he tripping. young. I'm thinking. Nah, it was a program. It was a pro. It wasn't oh, no. actually. Five thousand no. role models. No, it was fuck them. Well, no, nah, fuck <laughs> it them. It was fuck them. Nah, I hate <laughs> them. was weird. I was in a different fucking. I didn't fuck with them. We were on different gangs. Five thousand role models back in our day were like regular, like our that, friends. That's not what the kids do now. 
Nah, fuck the that. So, wait, 5,000 Romans is, is lame, though? Damn, bro, we had, like, a mentor and no, all, but, but I'm asking, is 5,000 Romans lame, though? Is it lame, though? Yeah, for me, it was lame. Boys and Boys girls, girls Club, club there America? Is. Yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. was in there, too? Nah, he was bad kid, because that's your bad kid. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that's why you were in TGK. <laughs> now it makes sense that's why crazy. they took him to jail. I feel offended. I feel fine. It was nothing but good kids. Now you know why he we went to jail. About. Now we know why they took him to get acquainted. That makes sense. Now it makes sense. I ain't gonna lie, 5,000 role models was where the bad kids was at in our school. Yeah, look. They took yeah, us to that look. whole process. Like, they showed us when you go in. Like, they li- like we- this was gonna happen to you if you come in this bitch. Yeah. Police gonna drop you off. You're gonna be sitting in this fucking room. So we had mm-hmm. some dude with butt ass naked in a suicide suit. He's like, you see that? He's naked under there. You see his dick? <laughs> he, we didn't, they couldn't see his dick, but they said, yo, he's crazy. Like, but he's he, naked under there. He's naked under his fucking... Suit, and he's like bro. strapped up like, nah, like a mummy? No, he's just caught, cuffed up. Oh, okay, okay. And let me tell you, bro. Wait, what you just... So what does he have on? Some kind of it's suit. Like it's like the quilted like looking suit, thing, but right? But it's like see-through on the side. So, so you can see like his side ass. You can see the yeah, side, the side ass. ass. You can see, gotcha. yes, you can see the side ass. Gotcha. Side side ass. Gotcha. Side you like that shit, huh? The side side I got you. I got you. The niggas I was with, new this people. This is how I'm gonna start it right here. Like a whole school program in there, and they was like, "Yo, what's up?" Like we don't, we can't. I'm not affiliated with you, dog. I don't know you. I can't be seen with you. That's yeah. people going. You might have to look at that. That's a little me too kind of yeah. thing going on, isn't it? Like they give you a sewer, you got the hat, hat, the side of you is naked. Nah, dude, dude, the, 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 that's a little dude weird, bro. Himself, bro. Dude's in the oh, no, no, I know that, himself, I know that. Bro. And we was really that. close to those inmates, like really close. I was like, eh, I want to get out of here. Right? By the end of midway, I was like, I want to get out of here. Yeah, right? I almost started crying when I saw the orange jumpsuits. Yeah. The fact that you went to jail is yeah, the highlight of your you life. Went to jail, How you got lucky before all Wait, of can us? you be present if you went to jail? <laughs> I don't. Ha- it wasn't a charge. It was just like a bench warrant. Oh, okay, this is a light yeah, work. No light fine. work. I don't even come up on the system. You I got, got you. cake. You got a whole lot of hey, <laughs> pancake. 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 Yo, 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 yo. Pancake. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Here's a question. Yo, did you leave with the sandals? You know the, the jail. They sandals? did give me the sandals. You love oh it. I bet you still wear them. They gave me the sandals. You kept them? No, I didn't keep them. I did not keep them. Oh, you. I didn't keep up. <laughs> like, I, know I thought I ain't no Jill no, did that. You have to give back the sandals and the orange jumpsuit. We're going to give it right so to somebody know, else. So you know the currency that goes on. And since you was in there, you know currency, you know honey buns. <laughs> Look, let me tell you something. Soups, I went to my cell and I sat in my cell. And I sat with Mariela. Mariela was at the top. We saw Mariela at the school. And then <laughs> yeah, we hey. saw her. I saw my cellmate. And I was like, Mariela. <laughs> Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. That's the hoodest shit I don't ever heard you can't you be doing associated too. You so hyped to see your cellmate that you don't know for like eight hours or something like but that. But she was really nice. That's like a no, job. We got arrested. Was she at the, the same pancake time. one? No, no, no. It was some other girl. Some girl that have told me. Have you seen me. her? You got lucky. No, I haven't seen her. <laughs> you got have lucky. You seen, have you seen Sixty Days In? Have you no. seen that show? Guys, I was there for eighteen hours. Like I've I never mean, watched that dude's in there. Like, I mean, I, 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 yeah. but you see a whole bunch of crazy shit. So you didn't see anything. You didn't see no stabbings. I did not see a stab. I saw pregnant girls. Yeah, pregnant girls all day. You didn't see nobody. You didn't get that in high school. Yeah, like, wait a minute. Girls. There's pregnant girls in jail. Yes. I didn't even know you could be pregnant in jail. You can't be pregnant, pregnant in jail. For crazy? real? Right before that you go in, nigga. Why? You, you can get birth in jail. Man, you nobody and does you get that. Life. <laughs> Stop it, bro. I didn't see oh, that they put man. pads on the air vents because it's cold. You got to be fucking kidding. That's crazy. You know what? How about we just cut that whole part? Uh, no, too late. It's already. <laughs> do I wrap up? Do I wrap up or no? Wrap up. Now you can wrap up. up. Right. Now I'm sorry. Now I'm sorry. All right, man. Once again, appreciate you guys for watching. We thank you. Thank you for coming Special on the show. Guys. We appreciate you, um, Abby. Shout out to you in the back, and to Amma's girl in the back too, bro, for sure. We got an audience today. So once again, we appreciate you guys for watching. Once again, it's underscore underscore. I'm down on Instagram. I'm down on everything else. We appreciate you guys for watching. Till next time, this is I'm down. Peace. Peace.